The other day, I was uh, looking at tuning boxes for the Kia Sportage, uh, mine and Jan's car. Now, what I've done is, I've basically phoned, they advertised on eBay, obviously I wanted to make sure it was the correct company I was dealing with, Blue Spark. So I give them a call and I spoke to a, a lovely, lovely man at the other end of the phone call and he was explaining about the modifications and any problems what you could come across but there's no, there's no problems you could come across so I asked him basically I was going to order two of them one for my car one for Jan's car so I did say to him when you send them out could you put on the registration of the vehicle for the tuning box to go with the car so example mine would have my registration number and Jan's would have her registration number on so that is exactly what he's done I'll just put it on this put mine on and he puts uh, Jan's on so he's exactly done exactly what I asked him he's even said if there's any problems whatsoever just give him a call it was three rings and he answered the call when I was asking the questions about it. So up to now I haven't got any, any issues. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the car for a spin so you can see what it's like. I've not got it for getting more HP or performance and everything, I've just got it for fuel economy. So it has arrived, so I'm just going to open mine and you can see what's in the box. Like I said, this is from Blue Spark. So let's have a look at what's inside the box, the bag. Nothing else in there. See our tech blue spark box. There's the box sealed. And I asked him could he preset it for me on just for the economy side of it. Cable ties to tie the uh, the bits up. Blue Spark card, 10% discount. So use that code if you're going to order one, TAF1859 for 10% discount. And then obviously the uh, destructions telling you exactly where it goes even down to the exact points for my car so that's my engine cover rail sensor on that side and rail sensor so I can either have it that side or that side so we removed the plastic engine cover, this usually pulls off the, with the tur firm tug. So that's the uh, instructions with it. You can't get any clearer than that to be honest. Let's take this for a spin, normal, I mean I do know how it runs. Um, I know how the car runs, I've been driving it, but you don't. So I'm going to try it for a little drive now. You can come along with me, see what uh, I get out of it. I'm not going to really clog it because I'm not a person that clogs the cars anyway. And then uh, we'll install the box. Right, so we're out with the car now. Um, basically, we're just giving a test on it to see, as it is as normal as standard, um, there's no lacking in, in, in the uh, 
engine now since I did that math sensor spray um, spread the math sensor so there's no flat spots anymore on the uh, gear change like it was only happening on second and third gear I'm in third now I usually had a little bit of an hesitation there to the, just like a, a, a second but it, it was annoying since I've done the math sensor it's, it's cleared up but like I say this is I don't go fast anyway no intention to I just wanted the, the blue spark device just basically for making sure that uh, I'm getting the best I can out of the engine I don't want to move it right up to the highest setting I just want to I've asked him for blue spark if he could basically set it sort of for economy and better out the gear range and that's what he's done spoke to him on the phone uh, making sure that it was the, it was the person from Blue Spark because you know what it's like with eBay there's people copying the devices and so on and so on um, I will put the phone number up so you can see exactly who to call if you want to call them um, it says on eBay because I've ordered two one for this car and one for my missus's car Jan's car but it did say um, <coughs> put in the vehicle details and he'll, put, he'll give you the exact right box for your car phoned him up um, just to make sure it was blue spark that's all why I was doing it so I did that spoke to the man really really helpful could not fault him one bit um, I was shocked to be honest and he said if you have any problems whatsoever just give us a call and we'll get one of our lads to give you let you get one of our lads to help you out with it and I can't I, I honestly up to now I can't fault the service I asked him because obviously it's two cars could he put them in different bags he said I'll do that anyway so he's put them in my registration and Jan's registration on her car so we can't get mixed up and I honestly cannot fault that side of it so basically it's coming up this hill it's a little bit sluggish not sluggish but effort but like he said that will change I explained, he said you'll notice the difference and apparently he's got the same engine in his Hyundai and he says he's, he knows how much difference it has made in his car so let's go now I'm going to let the engine cool down for a bit and work it from putting it on after it's cooled down but it, what you've got to do is basically open the bonnet pop the bonnet lock your doors don't know why i'm just doing what the instructions tell me to do lock the doors leave it for about five ten so the power of the all the charges out and then disconnect the leads and fit this in so that is exactly what i'm going to be doing right the engine's uh, now cooled down so what i'm going to do is going to remove the uh, cover from the top Pull up on it. And move that out the way. Now what I've got to do is pull this lead off, and that is the plug. What you're undoing? This one. Unplug that. Put that there. The uh, tuning box from Blue Spark. If you have you any issues with the tuning box, please contact support and they do answer. So let's uh, just put that there for a minute. Clipped in. In that bit. And this is connected to here. Click this way up. Little clip on top. Here's the box. Now it's out of the way. That's out of the way there. Let's go and turn it on. I'm going to put it on the first ignition first, first bit first. Nothing come up there. Have a look at the box. As it says, it's flashing. 
that's let's try it. Now let's go and have another look outside what the box is doing. That's it. Now it's a solid blue light. Stays in a blue box, it doesn't flip to green. What I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do now is basically get the cable ties, tidy up, neat neat neat, neat tidy, sorry. And neatly tidy everything up so then obviously everything's out of the way and uh, I'll come back to you. Now that's in its place, I've tidied everywhere up as you see. You can hardly see anything now. So well, there's the veil connector where I've connected to. This bit. Follow it through, come underneath. Can I, you can't see it, it's just right underneath. And I've come at the side of the fuse box and I've just come at the side here. Just rested it in there, just inside here. Now on the box, on the box I've got, it's just got one flashing blue light when you turn the ignition on, and then it'll flash. Sorry, it'll go off once the car started. Once the car started, it doesn't change from blue to green. Um, it's the older model box what I've got for the eighty quid. I've just spoken to him from Blue Spark now. Straight away, three or four <laughs> rings, and the answered straight away. Very, very helpful, he explained to me. Um, it's, so it's just on this box, it'll flash blue. When you start the car up, it goes to a solid blue. Um, it doesn't change from blue to green. This is the uh, Blue Spark CR, the first one. And then obviously, there's the CR2. This is the CR1. So I've spoken to him, really, really helpful. It's just explained to me, and I, the only thing that's bothering me is it was so quick to do, so easy to do. And you think to yourself, is that it? I thought the engine had gone quieter. I've probably gone deaf overnight. It's not. Um, but now it's basically taking it for a drive and see if there's any difference on that hill going up. Right. Right, so this is the proof in the pudding now on this hill to see how more responsive it is. Yeah, there is. I can't tell yet, I can't tell. A little bit on that hill. Now this is set on what Blue Spark set it on the what they recommend for me to install it at. Obviously, if I wanted to do the jumpers, jump it up a little bit, a bit more acceleration, a bit more power, I can. If you do that and there's smoke coming out the back, you just got to drop it back down another one. Like I said, I'm going to give you my honest review on it. I'm not going to say it's good if it's not good. I'm not going to say it's bad if it's not bad. It's good. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. The more responsive through the gears. Well chuffed. I don't speed anyway, but that was uh, probably tempting to. Nah, I'm not going to speed, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Up to now, fingers crossed. It took off a lot better then, didn't it, than yesterday. Jan's with me, if you can't think. She don't want camera on her today. Or any other day. Or any other day. But yeah, Jan was with me yesterday, so she knew, she knows what response I had out of the car. First, second, second, yeah. I feel the more talking the engine. Yeah. No lights come on, there's nothing come on it. Um, so I have fitted it correctly. It just, you, you, you can't, well I can't, I can't explain it. It just feels, I'm not dropping the gear. And it's still pulling. 
give it a bit of power down there, see how it comes out. I've not hammered it straight away, I wanted it to build the temperature up in the car and then get used to it that way. So the temperature's right now. I've not been like psychologically thinking that it's doing it better, it's doing something better. But yeah, it does, doesn't it? It feels... Not a boy racing it whatsoever, I just wanted that bit more torque out the engine which it did to give it man. I can feel it though. Definitely isn't it. And I'm not reducing the gears, I'm not going down into third to that third gear there, that was better. The fourth's better. I'm not being like psychologically thinking that it's doing it better, it is doing something better. Fourth gear just pulls away then. Yeah, Jan's got the 2 litre diesel uh, of the Kia. And it's like fourth gear now, I'm not just going to still. It pulls, it's pulling. So yeah. It does, doesn't it? It feels... I'm not a boy racer whatsoever. I just wanted that bit more torque out the engine, which it did to give it, man. I can feel it though. Definitely, hasn't it? And I'm not reducing the gears. I'm not going down into third to... In a minute, there's a bit of a not much of a hill, but yeah, let's just see, get a bit more in now. This is third gear, it's a lot more responsive, isn't it? It is. That's chat saying it. Like I said, we've got the end of this road is a roundabout, we've got a little bit of an hill on the left, and sometimes it's I'm going to leave it in fourth deliberately because you usually have to have it in third to go up this hill. It's not much of an hill, but I'm just saying that's what I usually have to do. But in third to go up it. So let me just see what it does here. Like I said, it's, it's on the setting, the settings what they recommend, and I'm leaving it on that because it's to me that's all I wanted. That little bit more of a torque out the engine, that's all I wanted, and a bit more fuel economy. Um, I'm not a mad driver, I'm just that is perfect. Fourth gear, and it's still so yeah. I am happy with it, and if I buy one, Jan has one. <laughs> no matter what I have, Jan's got to have one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell icon to be notified of any other videos we're putting up, so just hit that thumbs up, keep giving us a thumbs up, as many as you can give me. See you all soon, bye for now.